Squats are one of the most effective exercises for building muscle, strength, and overall fitness. They are a compound movement that engages multiple muscle groups, including the quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, and even the core. This exercise is foundational in strength training and functional fitness routines, and its benefits extend beyond muscle growth to include enhanced athletic performance, improved mobility, and injury prevention. However, determining how many squats you should do daily to see muscle growth requires a strategic approach. In this video, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step guide to help you build muscle through squats. So, without further ado, let's get started. Step 1. Understand your starting point. Before diving into a squat routine, it's crucial to assess your current fitness level. This will help you determine a safe and effective starting point for your squat regimen. If you're new to strength training, begin with bodyweight squats to master proper form. For those with more experience, starting with weighted squats or higher repetitions may be appropriate. Squats are demanding on the knees, hips, and lower back, so it's important to ensure these areas are healthy before increasing intensity. By understanding where you're starting, you can set realistic goals and avoid overtraining, which can lead to injury and hinder progress. Step 2. Gradually increase volume. Once you've established your starting point, it's time to gradually increase the volume of squats you perform. Volume refers to the total number of squats you do, including both reps and sets. The key to building muscle is progressively challenging your muscles with increased volume. Start with a manageable number of squats, such as three sets of 10 to 15 reps, and gradually increase the number of sets or reps each week. Depending on your fitness level, Aim to squat two to four times per week. Beginners might start with fewer sessions, while more advanced lifters can handle more frequent workouts. Avoid the temptation to increase volume too quickly. If you feel excessive soreness or fatigue, it may be a sign that you need to scale back and allow your muscles to adapt. Gradually increasing volume allows your muscles to strengthen and grow without overwhelming your body. Step 3. Add Squat Variations to maximize muscle growth, it's important to incorporate different squat variations into your routine. Each variation targets different muscles and can prevent your body from adapting too quickly, which can plateau progress. Here are some popular squats variations. Number 1. Bodyweight squats. These are great for beginners or as a warm-up for more advanced variations. They primarily target the quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes. Number 2. Goblet squats. Holding a weight, like a kettlebell or dumbbell, close to your chest while squatting can increase the load and challenge your core stability. Number 3. Back squats. Using a barbell across your shoulders allows you to lift heavier weights, focusing on building mass in your lower body. Number 4. Front squats. Similar to back squats, but with the barbell in front. This variation shifts the focus to the quadriceps and core. Number 5. Bulgarian Split Squats A single-leg squat variation that can help address imbalances and improve stability while targeting the quads and glutes more intensely. Incorporating a variety of squats not only prevents boredom, but also ensures comprehensive muscle development. Step 4. Don't Forget Recovery Muscle growth doesn't happen during your workout. It occurs during recovery. Ensuring proper recovery is essential to building muscle and preventing injury. Schedule at least one rest day between squat sessions to allow your muscles to repair and grow. For beginners, 48 hours of rest between sessions may be necessary. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of sleep per night, as this is when your body repairs muscle tissue. Fuel your recovery with a diet rich in protein, carbohydrates, and healthy fats. Protein is particularly important for muscle repair and growth, so aim to consume about 1.6 to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight daily. Incorporate stretching and mobility exercises into your routine to maintain flexibility and prevent stiffness. This will help you perform squats with better form and reduce the risk of injury. Prioritizing recovery ensures that your muscles have the resources they need to grow and adapt to increased demands. 
Step 5. Track your progress. Tracking your progress is crucial to staying motivated and ensuring that you're moving towards your muscle-building goals. Keep a detailed log of your workouts, including the number of sets, reps, and weight used. This will help you see your progress over time and make informed adjustments to your routine. Take regular measurements of your legs, glutes, and overall body composition. This will give you tangible evidence of muscle growth. Pay attention to increases in strength, such as being able to lift heavier weights or perform more reps with the same weight. Take photos every few weeks to visually track your muscle growth. Sometimes changes in muscle definition are more apparent in photos than on the scale. By tracking your progress, you can celebrate your achievements and make necessary adjustments to continue advancing towards your muscle-building goals. In conclusion, building muscle through squats is a gradual process that requires consistency, patience, and attention to detail. By understanding your starting point, gradually increasing volume, incorporating variations, prioritizing recovery, and tracking your progress, you can effectively use squats to build a stronger, more muscular lower body. Remember, the number of squats you do each day should be tailored to your individual goals, fitness level, and recovery capacity to ensure long-term success. If you want to know the nine best anti-aging exercises, then watch this video. See you soon.